I'm filming from my house today, which means for the first time in a very long time, I said yes to a brand new laser. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. The new Creality Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt is a beast of a laser, and it has some features on board that could make this thing a game changer. Let's check it out. The huge 60 watt laser module is the star of the show. It's the biggest diode laser I have ever used, and it has a really cool trick up its sleeve. This laser module can switch between three different powers with just the push of one button. First is the 22 watt mode, which is great for thinner materials like paper, thin leather, thin wood, and stuff like that. This is also the mode you want to use when you're doing quick engraving. Next is the 40 watt setting. It's great for a little bit thicker materials like acrylic, medium density woods, and material that you may need a little more power to cut. Last is the 60 watt setting. If you're looking to cut thick materials or just quickly rip through those batch projects, this is a setting for you. It incorporates 12 five and a half watt diode lasers. And Creality says that it will cut through 22 millimeter basswood or 30 millimeter black acrylic or 0.2 millimeter steel sheet all in one pass. Now's a great time for a quick cut test. I'm gonna use the precise setting in this board right here. It is 22 watts, 200 speed and 100% power. And the only thing we're gonna change between these cuts is the top button on the diode. So now I'm gonna make it 40 watts, which is the normal setting. Same speed at 200 and same power at 100. We're gonna see how that does. And then next I'm gonna jump it up to the max speed or the powerful setting, which is 60 watts on that diode and rip through this thing. It all is at 200 speed, 100% power, like I said. It is pretty cool how this works. And at the end, we should be able to check out which one actually cut through. As you can see here, the powerful setting did a great job. It went through. There is a little bit of charring, but it's not too bad. And the other two settings just didn't quite make it all the way through that board. Uh, it's kind of cool to see how far it did make it, but you can kind of see the comparison between the three settings. Now I'm gonna do a quick etch test. Same three things, the precise, the normal, and the powerful, as you can see there. And here you can kind of see the difference between the three. The precise is there, it's not so deep. Normal's a little bit deeper, a little more black. And the powerful is definitely more charred and definitely deeper engraving. So it's kind of cool to see the difference between just changing the top settings of that diode. And it's a really good comparison. It's safe to say that this is the highest power diode laser that I've ever used. And with all of that power, we need a lot of safety. The Falcon Pro 60 watt doesn't disappoint in this department either. The first thing you'll notice is the large metal frame and the big red enclosure that you can actually get with it. The enclosure is this color to help protect your eyes from the laser. It has a built-in exhaust fan to help get rid of the fumes on the side, and it also has built-in sensors that will stop the laser if the enclosure is opened while it's burning. In the front right of the machine, you'll notice an emergency stop button that will cut the laser power if this is pressed. The machine also has a sensor that will stop it if the laser is tilted, dropped, or flipped over. The laser module has what Creality calls a triple monitoring system built in. The three lights on the front will alert you to airflow on the nozzle, how dirty the lens gets and if it needs to be cleaned, and if there's a fire, it will also alert you and shut the machine down as well. Now the laser does have a built-in light right along the front edge, and it does put out some okay light. But the one thing I wish they would have done is ran the light all the way around the enclosure because that would have lit up the build area much, much better. Speaking of the build area, it's 400 by 400, which is a pretty good size for a diode machine like this. It has a pull-out waste tray that catches all the crud that falls down from the cuts you're doing and allows you to take that and throw it straight in the garbage. This is way better than just letting it fall on the table underneath the laser. And you don't even need a spoil board because this will protect your countertop or table from the laser beam itself. Just be sure to empty it often because any of that material you leave inside could actually catch fire and we don't want that. As we talked about earlier, it does have built-in air assist. It's super easy to use, quiet, and only comes on when it's needed. It sits on the left side of the laser where it plugs into the airline and the power, so there's no additional power outlet needed for the air assist, which is actually pretty cool. Now another feature that seems mandatory on all lasers these days is a built-in camera. Now I love having a built-in camera on my lasers because it helps me dial in exactly where I want to burn on my material. This one has one and it's right here under the lid. 
it faces straight down onto the build area and it'll help you get great positioning on all your cuts. Real quick, if you're getting value from today's video, smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos on 3D printing, lasers, and CNC, please consider hitting that subscribe button too. It really helps out the channel. Now back to it. Now back to it. Now I've tested this machine with a bunch of different materials and I've made some really cool projects like this one I did for my mom on Mother's Day. And I do have to say, if you take the time to dial this thing in, do your settings right, this thing does a really good job. With all that power, that means you can turn the speed up on this machine quite a bit. And if you want it to be fast, you can make it really fast. For example, this coaster right here finished about two minutes faster than my other dialed machines. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but two minutes is a long time when you're talking about making 40 or 50 of these things. So this will actually save a ton of time, especially with larger quantity items. Something I haven't talked about yet is that Creality actually includes this tiny little diode laser. This is a 1.6 watt diode laser, and it is great for all those high detail laser engravings. That really makes this machine a great choice from everything to engraving that really fine detail to cutting that super thick stuff that you probably couldn't do otherwise. So with all of that being said, who do I think this laser is actually for? Well, if you're a beginner, this could be a really good laser to start with because it actually comes with everything you need. It's fully enclosed. It has a ton of safety features. And if you're an advanced user, maybe you have a side gig or a small laser business, this could actually be a pretty good purchase for you as well. It's easy to use, it's super fast, it has a lot of safety. I don't know what he's doing right now. It has a lot of safety, and if you're using an older laser, maybe one of the open diode lasers, this could actually be a pretty big upgrade. Now I know there's probably a bunch of you screaming right now because I haven't mentioned what software that this actually works with. Well, I'm happy to say that it works with Lightburn. If you've not heard of Lightburn, it is probably, in my opinion, the best software you can get to work with these lasers. It is super powerful, has tons of features packed in, pretty much anything you want when doing these laser projects. If you want to learn more about Lightburn, there's a link in the description below. It's not an affiliate link, but if you end up grabbing Lightburn, let them know that Jim from the Edge of Tech sent you. So let me know in the comments below what you would do if you had this laser right here. Would it be an engraving, maybe a big cutting, maybe some acrylic? I don't know. I'm curious what your projects would be if you had this laser. So far, I'm pretty dang impressed with it. And as you can see, it has a permanent place in my shop now. So that tells you how impressed I am with a Creality Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt laser right here. So this has been my first look of the Creality Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt diode laser. I am actually pretty impressed, like I said, and if you're in the market for a laser, it's something that you definitely wanna check out. Speaking of impressed, have you guys seen this video right here?